eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bob and Doug. America has launched. And so rises a new era of American space flight, and with it the ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9, and look at them go. Falcon power telemetry nominal. M1D throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are go. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. M1D throttle up. We're throttling back up to full power as we're One through Max Q. Dragon SpaceX nominal trajectory. Acquisition of signal in Bermuda. SpaceX Dragon nominal trajectory. All right, here in nominal trajectory, so Dragon pointed in the right direction, continuing to make their flight uphill. Heard acquisition of signal Bermuda. That's one of the other ground stations that they're using to get telemetry and data back from this spacecraft. Stage two propulsion is still nominal. And there is that entry burn like beginning. Alan. This burn lasts about 36 seconds long. Stage two FTS is saved. Well, that entry burn continues. We're just about a minute away from SECO. We'll have a number of events all happen in rapid succession. It'll Choppy be the shutdown. second engine cutoff. Stage one we'll be looking for that uh, stage one landing burn shortly after. Yeah, actually, just within a few seconds of each other. It's such a cool view on your left screen, seeing Bob and Doug on Dragon. Right now, you can see the displays that they are seeing right now themselves. Terminal guidance. All right, so Bob and Doug are in and Dragon space. Dragon SpaceX, we confirm nominal equals activation and service section Draco checkouts. Uh, nose cone deploys in progress. Gapiel, we're monitoring. The core here in Hawthorne giving the crew a heads up that we have confirmation the nose cone is just deploying. So again, that nose cone is going to open up a little bit more than 90 degrees, goes up to about, I think, 105 degrees, and that's going to expose uh, the actual docking ring and the hatch that they're going to be going through once they attach to the International Space Station. And also four of those Draco thrusters, we call them the forward bulkhead thrusters, that are going to be used for these major phase burns or firings of those thrusters to actually raise their orbit gradually over the coming hours. Also heard good activation of the ECLIS, that's the Environmental Control and Life Support System. That's everything controlling their atmosphere. Uh, just keeping Dragon a nice, safe, habitable environment where they're going to be living for the next 19 hours until they arrive at the space station. Yes. And the weather, the weather cooperated. Yes. Second time's a charm. <laughs> right. 